Hello everyone, welcome to our TSOL Global YouTube channel. This is our FPGA video series where we will explain different aspects of FPGA. We will provide different examples and demonstrate some projects. In this video, we will start explaining basics of Verilog coding with some examples. This is the first part of Verilog basics and we will continue this for next few videos in this series. By definition, Verilog is a hardware description language or we can also say it is a textual or written format to describe electronic circuits and system. Verilog is primarily intended to be applied to electronic design and used in modeling digital circuits, system verification through simulation, circuit timing analysis, test analysis, which includes testability and fault detection, and logic synthesis. Now we we'll look at the basic syntax of Verilog. It is start with the name term module. So what is module? A module is the basic unit of a hardware you are intending to design. In Verilog, we specify everything in a form of a module. A design generally can have several modules but you cannot define another module within a main module. But you can define modules externally and instantiate it inside other modules like a function in C. So you can create a hierarchical design in Verilog with low level modules and top level module. So a module definition start with the term module and it ends with the term end module. In between, we have the main syntax for the logic we want to design. So a module needs to have a name followed by the list of all input and output ports to be used in the design. Next, we have to declare which ports are input and which ports are output. Now it is very common to have interconnected logics in a design and for those we have to declare the names of the interconnections which we often call nets. Here we have an example with interconnected logics where inputs are defined as A, B, and SEL or select. Output is defined as F, and the interconnected nets are defined as N cell, F1, and F2. Finally, the parallel statements represent the main logics in the design. This is a big difference between C and Verilog. In C programming, the logics work serially or one by one. But in Verilog, all the logics can be executed at the same time or we can say the logics can work parallelly. Before going ahead, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel if you are benefited from our content. Also click the ring bell to get notification whenever our new video will be released. Now we'll look at some example Verilog codes. So the first example is AND GET. Here we have the module name as AND GET. Then we declare the input output port as A, B, Y, where inputs are defined as A, B, and output is defined as Y. We do not have any interconnections here. In Verilog, we define the logics with assign command. So our logic is assign y is equal to a and b. Finally, we end the code with end module command. Here you can see the truth table and a schematic or symbol of and get. Next, we will look at a bit complex circuit with two level logic. Like before, we will start the code with module name and declaring input and output. 
as it is a two level logic so we have interconnections we can define the interconnections with where command then we define the logics with assign command where the where t1 is equal to a and b where t2 is equal to not c or d and lastly the output f is equal to t1 or t2 finally we end the code with end module you can also see the schematic of the logic here you can also see the brief truth table with some selected logics to test with the simulation and max gen development board now we'll look at the model sim implementation of this very low code and its simulation in our previous two videos we already discussed how you can install model sim how to compile the code and simulate it in model sim so you can find the link of those videos above during our work with model sim we found that sometimes model sim starts opening in a text editor and if you define editor with open with in windows and it goes into a loop and model sim keep opening when you try to open the compiler let us know if you want the solution for this problem and we will make a separate video for this for today we already prepared the very large code for the two level logic example and we also prepared the test bench for this code now as we discussed in our previous video if you go to the library and in the work folder and if you simulate it it will open the simulation window then you can add these signals to the simulation and now if we run the simulation we will start getting the waveforms for the signals you can zoom this now we can compare it with the brief truth table you can see here if we have 0, 0, 0 at the input then our output is 1 which is similar to the brief truth table and then if we have 0, 1, 0, 1 then the output is 0 and if we have 1, 0, 1, 0 then the output is again 0 and we, if we have all 1 at the input then the output will be 1. So next we will synthesize this logic in Quartus Prime and upload it in MaxGen development board and test the hardware. Before going to the Quartus Prime, we'd like to discuss one thing which we realized during testing this example in MaxGen development kit that the user defined push button switches available in the uh, MaxGen development kit are active low which means the switches are by default give one and if you press them then it will give zero similarly the leds or the output leds also are active low so if you define logic one or high in the port the the led will go low or turn off so to show the correct logic output we need to use an inverter at the output of the logic we develop so be careful about this so to show the correct logic output in the max gen development board we need to use an inverter at the output of the logic we develop so we'll show this in in the very log code of the example in quarters prime so please be careful if you are using max gen development kit as it can be very confusing sometime but for other uh, fpga development kit maybe it will not be an issue and you can directly use the code we just showed here 
and you do not need to use any inverter at the output for those development kits. So now to start with the Quartus Prime, we already created the project and we have uploaded the Verilog code we were discussing. So in our previous video, we discussed how you can create a project in Quartus Prime and how you can uh, upload the code in the uh, Max Gen development board using Quartus Prime. So we'll do it here again. So here you can see the Verilog code we are talking about. And as we are discussing, we add an extra not get here so that we can get the correct logic from our Max Gen development board. So now we can compile this project. As we discussed in our previous video, it takes a bit of time to compile the project. So it's now compiling. So now the compile is done and there is no error. So you, we can also show you the pin assignments here. So if you go to pin planner, you can see what pins we used here. So we used pin 22, M21, M22 and N21 as input as these pins are connected with the push button switches and we used pin T20 as the output. So this pin is connected with the LED in the Max Gen development kit. So another thing we would like to show you, we'd like to show the uh, netlist or netlist diagram. So if you go to the netlist viewer and if you click the RTL viewer, then you will can see the schematic created from our Verilog code and it looks like this. So the only extra thing here is the this not get. So as I discussed, we are using this not get to get the correct output at the max gen development board from our logic. Now we will program the max gen development kit. So to do that, we'll double click the program device and it will open the programmer. And you can also see the max gen development kit in the sub window. So let me double click. So you already configured the programmer to do the programming in the max gen development kit. So if you double click the files and we can upload the SOF file, and then we have to click the program button. And then if we click start, so you can see the program is uh, loaded successfully now. So we'll check the logic in the Max Gen development board and we'll compare it with the brief truth table. So here you can again see the Verilog code for the two level logic. You can also see the schematic which we implemented in the Max Gen development kit. And you can also see the brief truth table. So we'll now verify this brief truth table with the hardware. So here in the Max 10 development kit, these push button switches are used as input. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and this button is D. And you can see this LED, which is now on, is our output F. So according to the truth table, if all of this input are zero, then we'll have output as one. So as we discussed before, by default, this, it, the switches are one. So the last logic or the last uh, values of the truth table, you can see if all is one, then LED should be on or the output should be high. So here, all of the switches are one and our LED is on or the output is high. Now, if we press all of these switches, then the 
input will be 0 for a b c and d and the output should be high so if we press all of the switches you can see the led is still on so it verifies this next if we have a as 0 b as 1 c as 0 and d as 1 then the output should be 0 now this is a and this is c if we press this two you can see the led is off and then again if we leave the buttons all of the buttons are high so the output is high next if the b is 0 and d is 0 then the output will also be 0 so this is the b button and this is the d button if we press this two then you can see the output is 0 so it shows that the logic is working with the hardware so this is the end of this video you can download this very log course from our tso global website the link is given in the description in our next video we will continue looking at the basics of the Verilog coding with some example codes please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this we would like to thank those who already subscribed and helping us to grow our channel add likes and comments and give us suggestion of what kind of video you want us to make follow us on linkedin twitter or x and in facebook thank you for watching see you next time